bless you this morning. Thank you for coming in. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we love you. God bless you, District Missionary. Thank you for waking up this morning. Thank him for waking you up this morning. Give me a heart and mind to pray. This prayer changes things. Nothing but prayer. It takes God to fix it. God to heal it. God to deliver it. It takes God to turn it around. It takes God to make a way. God to open doors. also a weapon. We weaponize prayer against Satan, against the enemies of our spirit, the enemies of our flesh. We weaponize prayer. Turn it into a tool to help us win our battles. Turn it into something that can be a shield, a defense, a powerful protectorate, prayer. You heard it before, all of you. Prayer changes things. <laughs> what can it change in your life? It can change the situations, the crises, the burdens, the problems, the cares, the struggles, the troubles. Prayer is able to lift the burden from your shoulder and put it on the shoulders of the Lord. God bless you, Mother Gaston. Prayer is able to make swift work of the enemy. You've got an enemy on your back, prayer can lift him off. So the word this morning, St. Luke chapter 18, verse 1 says this, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And then, second verse, and on gives the parable. But it's a principle that Jesus taught. Never stop praying and don't give up. Say that with me if you're able. Never stop praying. Hallelujah. And don't give up. There's always a way, there's always a plan, there's always a method. Uh, Bishop Chandler David Owen, our past presiding bishop, uh, a couple of years ago made the comment that God has 10,000 times 10,000 ways to bless you. You only know one way. God says, don't get distress because I didn't do it your way. Hallelujah. Sister Brenda, I got a way to fix it. Good morning, Deacon Baker. Yes. God says, I got a way to fix it. Sister Deidre, I've got a way to fix it. Prayer changes things. And it's so important that you understand that prayer works for you. Prayer doesn't really do anything for God, but prayer does something for you. And Jesus said you ought to always pray. And don't stop praying, don't stop praying. What could stop you from praying? Anger, you gotta pray through anger till anger goes away. Distress, you pray through distress till distress goes away. Pain, you pray through pain till pain goes away. You keep on believing that whatever this is, Prayer will fix it, and I won't stop praying. 
I won't give up, I won't quit, I won't resign, I won't throw in the towel, I refuse to believe that God cannot answer me, I refuse to believe that there is no way this can be averted, this can be turned, I refuse to believe that this is the way it must be, because I serve the God of infinite possibility. Oh, hallelujah, I feel the Lord this morning. I serve the God of infinite possibility. Hallelujah, you see a wall, he sees a way. You see trouble, he sees a blessing. You see pain, he sees deliverance. You see distress, he sees peace. And your pathway to what God sees is to always pray. Your pathway into what God wants for you is to always pray. Saints, don't stop praying, hallelujah, for the Lord is nigh. Saints, don't stop praying, he'll hear you cry. Saints, don't stop praying, his word is true. Don't stop praying, he'll answer you. Never stop, never give up, never quit, never decide it won't work. I love how the first verse of St. Luke chapter 18 tells us the beginning and the end, the entire purpose of the conversation, the entire purpose of the parable is to this end. Say to, with me, to this end. It is to this end. Jesus was preparing to tell them a parable, but Luke the writer fast forwards to this end. How many know that you can write the end of your story? Ooh, praise the Lord. Put a praise right there. Put a praise right there. Write the end of your present crisis. You write the end of your present distress. You write the end of your present desire. You write the end of your present situation. You write the end because the end is this. Prayer changes the end that the enemy has for you. Prayer changes the end that your fears present to you. Prayer changes the end that your flesh dictates to you. The only qualification that you must have when you pray, <laughs> don't faint. Somebody say with me, don't faint. Hallelujah. Don't faint. Don't faint. You can't pass out now. You got to keep praying. You, you, you can't get so weak. You can't utter another word. You got to keep praying. Oh, you can't go through so much that you feel like I might as well just die and give up. No, keep on praying. You can't say that this is the way God must have it for me and I'm just going to accept it. No, judgment has not yet come. Keep on praying. Listen to Bishop Amos. Keep on praying. <laughs> But Jesus said always, the end of this is men ought to always pray, always pray. Peter and John could pray in a jail, in prison. They can pray in the dungeon. They can pray in the darkness. They could pray when they're chained and when they're bound and on the floor singing praises. When your bondage comes, praise. When your distress comes, praise. When your trouble comes, praise. And let your prayer be continuous. We're going to pray today for those of you who feel like fainting. And I want you to join the prayer whether you feel like fainting or not. I want you to join the prayer whether you feel like giving up or holding on. Regardless to where you are on the spectrum of life, the purpose of the parable in St. Luke 18 that Jesus, our Lord and Savior, gave was that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And I believe it's prayer time. It's prayer time in my home. It's prayer time in your home. Prayer time in my life, prayer time on my job, prayer time in my condition, prayer time in your situation. And we're going to keep on praying. We're going to keep on believing God. 
Will you join me this morning? My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. My soul loves Jesus. My soul, come on and join me. Love Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. He's a mighty, strong deliverer. He's a mighty, strong deliverer. He's a mighty, strong deliverer. Bless his name. He's a mighty, strong deliverer. He's a mighty, strong deliverer. He's a mighty, strong deliverer. Bless his name. My soul seeks to please him. Can you say that? My soul seeks to please him. My soul seeks to please him. Bless his name. My soul seeks to please him. My soul seeks to please him. My soul, I hear you, Brother Baker, seeks to please him. Bless his name. Yes, after you ask him, surrender. Yes to your will today. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. All day long. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, this morning we praise you. This morning we seek you and we call upon your name. This morning, Lord, we enter into the prayer, for you'd said that we ought to always pray. And this is a day that we know we need to pray. Lord, we thank you now for the rising of the sun and the going down of the same and for the new morning and the new mercies. We thank you, Lord, oh, for the struggles of the night, oh, that we have endured unto this present time. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you kept us just another day, Lord. You kept us just another day through another trial, through another distress, through another toss of rock from the enemy, through another storm in our lives. You kept us, Lord Jesus, although the hearts might be disturbed and our spirit may be perturbed, but Lord, you've kept us. Hallelujah, you kept us. And we now enter in to pray, for you've taught us that prayer changes things. Prayer makes a way, prayer opens doors, and prayer moves what needs to be moved and causes change what change is needed. So Lord, we pray this morning in our homes, and we pray, Lord, in our bedrooms, and we pray in our kitchens, and we pray, Lord, on our knees, and we pray standing, we pray while we walk and we pray while we work. We pray while we die. But Lord, we're praying right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we're praying right now. Lord, that you would step in and bring intervention. Praying right now. Lord, that you would speak deliverance and peace. Praying right now that you would stay the hand of the enemy that comes against your people. We pray right now that you, the very God of peace, would send peace into this situation, send peace into this broken body, send peace, peace into this broken condition. 
Send your peace, Lord. Come on, Zion. Send your peace, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do it, Lord. You know how to do it. We need not dictate to you the how, but we simply make our petition known unto you. We lay our supplication before you. We lay, Lord, our needs and desires before you. You said we could ask anything in prayer. And when we pray, believe that we receive them and we shall have them. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing me to see the end. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing me to see the outcome. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for putting peace in my spirit. Take the distress out of my mind. Thank you for my cup. Thank you for my cup. Thank you for my cup. You wouldn't put more on us, Lord, than we're able to bear. And so we thank you now that you allowed us to bear this burden. But we pray now, Lord Jesus, that we see an end to struggle. We see an end to distress. We see an end to anger and we see an end to crisis. We see an end, Lord Jesus, to sickness. And we see an end, Lord Jesus, to problem. We see an end, Lord Jesus, to the poverty that distresses the lives of your people. We see an end, Lord Jesus, to the crisis that continues to come and never lets up. We see an end, Lord Jesus. And we're gonna thank you for it now. We thank you in advance. Come on, thank him in advance. Come on, thank him in advance, hallelujah. You better thank him in advance for God has an answer for you. Thank him in advance, God has a way. Thank him in advance, God has peace for you. Huh. Do you believe the end that you see? Do you trust the end that you have spoken? Do you believe God is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than you can even ask or think? Oh, I need you to thank him now and I need you to praise him. <clears throat> I need you to believe God for the desires of your heart. Believe God for the desires of your home. Believe God for the desires for your children. Believe God for the desires of your children's children. Believe God for the prayers of the righteous avail much. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me lead you. That means you got to follow. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Let God be praised. Hallelujah. Magnify him this morning. Oh, be lifted up. <clears throat> Let the glory of God come in. <clears throat> Let the glory of God be magnified in you. Let the praises of the Lord lift you. For you ride on the praises of the Most High. And when you lift the praise, he lifts you. When you lift the praise, he raises you. When you lift the praise, he elevates you. So you need to elevate yourself. Do it yourself. Pray over yourself. <clears throat> Pray over your home. Pray over your job. Pray over your finances. Pray over your present distress. We pray, Lord Jesus. We pray when it's well, but we're going to pray when we're going through. We trust you when it's well. And we're going to trust you when it doesn't feel so good. We trust you when we are well, but we're going to trust you when things don't feel so well. Why? Because we know it, there is an end and we pray to this end. Oh God, that you would bring deliverance. We pray to this end. Hallelujah. You would bring peace. We pray to this end. You would bring joy. We pray to this end. You would open doors. We pray to this end. You would make a way. Oh, how many believe God? How many believe God? I believe prayer will make a difference. Prayer will turn it around. Prayer will open doors. But the word for you today is keep on praying. <laughs> keep on praying. Don't let Bishop Amos be the only one to pray. You have a right to pray. You have an anointing to pray. You have a calling to pray. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Some of what we're going through is to refine our anointing. Some of the reason you have the trouble you have is so God can shape your anointing. Lord, shape me. Lord, fix me. Lord, turn it around. Lord, make a way. Oh, God, send your blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see your landmark. Hallelujah. Keep on praying. I see your believers. Keep on praying. 
I see you, saints. Keep on praying. Who can tell you when to quit? Who has a right to tell you don't pray no more? Who has a right to say it's over? Don't, don't let it bother you no more. Oh, hallelujah, but my spirit will pray. When my words fail to express what's in my heart, my spirit will pray. When my words fail to express the sentiment of my soul, my spirit will pray. Hallelujah. All day long. All day long. We're going to pray. We're going to trust God. We're going to believe God. We're going to let the Lord be lifted up and be magnified. We're going to let the Lord be glorified. Let the glory of the Lord be in you, upon you. Let the glory of the Lord rest upon you and on your lips all through the course of your journey. You say, well, I got to work. That means watch. Well, I got to things to deal with. That means watch. Oh, I, I, I have to drive down the road. That means watch. I got to focus on my, my job. That means watch. I, I have to focus on the things around me. Jesus said, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. I see what you're doing, devil, but I'm going to keep on praying. I understand that I got an assignment in the natural, but I'm going to keep on praying. I understand what I have to deal with and what I got to go through, but I'm going to keep on praying. Somebody say, keep on praying. Keep on praying, hallelujah. Keep on praying and pray through it. Not just to it, pray through it. Getting to it is not the solution, but getting through it is the solution. Ah, uh, you gotta pray till you come through your crisis. Pray till you come through your distress. Pray till you come through your problem. And when you pray and grab somebody that's going through the same thing. When you pray and grab somebody else that needs to come out of what they're in. When you pray and grab somebody else that got trouble in their life. When you pray and grab somebody else that got distressed. When you pray and grab somebody and say, I'm coming through and I'm bringing you with me. I'm going to bring somebody with you. I'm coming out of this. I'm bringing you with me. I don't want to see my brothers and sisters. I don't want to see the saints in distress. I want to see God rain blessings. So these next few minutes, let's thank him for the deliverance. Come on, let's just thank him for the deliverance. Come on, church, let's thank him for the deliverance. Let's thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for a mind to pray. Thank you for a spirit to pray. Thank you for a desire to pray. I'm watching the enemy. I see the dart coming, but thank you for giving me power to bypass. I see what the enemy's doing, but I thank you for giving me strength for the I see what he's trying to do to me, but I thank you for giving me power to resist the devil. Oh God, I praise you now. And you know what? I feel like Satan must be moving in slow motion because I got power now to dodge every bullet. I got power to move out of every distress. Whew, thank you, Jesus. I feel like you must be working for me. Hallelujah. You must be making me speed up or letting the devil slow down because I, I seem to see his work. I see what he's up to now. You've opened my eyes. I, I, I see the distress. I see the trouble. You've opened my ears. I hear the sound of him coming. But you give me power to resist the devil. And now the devil must flee. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. We open with a thank you. We're going to close this with a thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel better now, Lord. I feel like my help has come. Thank you, Lord. I, you said I should always pray and not to faint. I don't feel like fainting anymore. I don't feel like giving up. I don't feel like quitting. I believe I can run on and, and see what the end is that you have for me. I'm going to keep on pressing my way. I'm going to keep on believing my way. I'm going to hold on to your unchanging hand. Thank you, Jesus. And we do thank you. Lord, we do thank you. On behalf of the saints everywhere, on behalf of the people of God, on behalf of those who are attending this prayer this morning, on behalf of those who will join in later, on behalf of those who are unable to lift their voices to pray, on behalf of those that are sick and infirm, on behalf of those that are going through right now and their tears are, and their distress is so great, uh, the words don't come out of their mouth. But on behalf of them, we say thank you. Hallelujah. On behalf of them, we say thank you. On behalf of those believers, we say thank you. On behalf of our mothers and fathers, our sisters and brothers, and the extended family of God, our neighbors and, and those in distress, we say thank you. Thank you for your will. Thank you for your way. Thank you for your blessings. Just think of something all day long to thank him for.
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I uh, got a little pain, but it's not what it used to be. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I'm moving a little slow, but faster than I used to. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I got uh, a ways to go, but I thank God. Look how far I've come. Look what he's done for me. Look at the ways that he's made. I'm blessed. Say it, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. I am blessed. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to thank God the rest of the day. I refuse to let the enemy bring me down. I refuse to let him give me a distress. This is the day that the Lord has made. He has created this day for me and he has given me the path towards it. The night is when the enemy works. The night is when distress comes. But thank God for the day. Thank God for the day. That's why in the New Jerusalem, there is no night there. There is no night there. There is no darkness there. And if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we will have fellowship with him and we'll have fellowship with one another. The Lord will give us the ability, amen, to see the glory, to see his presence, to see his anointing. God bless you, saints and friends. Let's keep praying all day long. When we come back together tonight at 7 o'clock, we will come in power and in anointing, having prayed through the day. Thank you, Sister Brenda. I'm blessed. Amen. I am blessed. I am blessed. I see you, Sister Andy. I am blessed. Amen. Brother Michael, we're blessed. Sister Davina, we're blessed. Hallelujah, Brother Luther. We're blessed. Sister Edna, First Lady Edna, we're blessed. And District Missionary Edna, we're blessed, Sister Deidre. We're are blessed. Davina, we are tremendously blessed. We're blessed because the Lord is with us and he hears our prayers. Hallelujah. I'm not ending the prayer because we ought to always pray and not to faint. And if you got to always prayer going, there is no end. <laughs> There's an always prayer going on the prayer continue. Let the prayer will continue all day long. And I watch God bless you. Watch God make a way for you. Watch God open doors for you. Thank you. We'll see you tonight at 7.